This is Jesus Manuel Mena Garza. I hope you're having a fantastic day. I do travel, photography, and RV reviews. Today I'm going to be doing a you know, shopping list of travel trailer uh, equipment and supplies. Hope you'll like it. Uh, everybody needs supplies when they're going uh, camping with their travel trailer. You, you know, you got to do the dumping and you got to filter the water and you got to have various connections to here and there and sometimes things go wrong and you have to fix it. So you need stuff and uh, this is my modest list. I'm not affiliated with any company like Amazon or eTrail or anybody like that. I'm not going to make any bucks by, uh, yeah, by suggesting these uh, products. So, it's, so I feel this is a very honest and fair uh, list of supplies and equipment. Okay. And uh, in the description, I'll have this list and you can just cut and paste it and uh, start your search from there and check out the various retailers out there online and uh, sticks and bricks. And uh, hopefully you can find something at a decent price. I would seriously suggest comparison shopping. OK, here's a list of uh, various uh, vendors that you may be interested in contacting. Uh, your local mom and pop retailer. Why not? Uh, check them out. They might be able to offer you a good deal. Also online uh, behemoths, uh, Amazon, Walmart, and of course uh, down the street, Home Depot, Lowe's, and Ace Hardware. Another on online company is RV Parts Country and E-Trailer. And of course the local RV dealership will be more than happy to sell you at a somewhat inflated price. Uh, <laughs> the various equipment and supplies you need. And of course, you know, camping world. So you might need some of these items. Don't forget you can pause this video at any time to check this list out. And so you can say, hey, uh, that's an equalizer weight distribution system. It's for 10,000 pounds. My, my travel trailer is light in that. Maybe I can get away with the one that's 6,000 pounds. And you may need a trailer brake controller. They're relatively inexpensive at 170 bucks. I think you definitely need to buy a pure sine wave inverter. So if you want to watch TV and have it plugged into your batteries and not damage your TV, uh, you can get a good one like a Samlex. Okay. The Rapid Jack for 50 bucks there is essentially a little piece of plastic that you put under your tire, you roll up on it, and so you can change your tires. Okay. I also have some hoses and some dog bones and, of course, uh, a stinky slinky. It's pretty clean when you buy it, but after a few uh, uses, make sure not to confuse it with your water hose, okay? So it's a, these are different prices here from 37, you know, to 49 bucks. That's not that, you know, not too expensive here for these items, okay? So again, I would seriously suggest comparison shopping. Don't go just <laughs> into a camping world and pay their inflated prices or, or the dealership prices. They're always inflated. I'm, I'm being very straightforward with you. Don't be a sucker, okay? Here's some more items. A Camco sewer hose seal for two bucks. What is that? That's basically a donut. In certain parts of the United States, you need to have put a donut where you dump your, you know, where you do your dumping because it, they require it. So it's only two bucks. Might as well get one, huh? Also, at various Camco products like Albos and uh, this adapter, the Camco heavy duty RV auto power grip adapter. That's basically allows you to connect your 30 amp into your household current so you can get your refrigerator all set up and to keep your batteries all charged and stuff like that and uh, it allows you to use it once in a while too to go back there and get away from your uh partner <laughs> more campco products uh you know this uh water tank filler essentially it's uh for gravity fill so you can you know get some water and just dump it and this is a little tube essentially for four bucks that they'll sell you and it makes things a lot easier. And I think everybody needs Tri-Links Lynx Levelers. They have a 10-pack going for 28 bucks. That's a good deal. And Happy Campers Organic RV Holding Tank Treatment. 18 treatments for 22 bucks. They come highly, highly, highly recommended. And a couple garbage cans from Simple Human. And a bottle jack in case you get a flat tire. And a lock for your uh, hitch so nobody steals your valuable travel trailer and all its goodies huh so you may want to do these now or later uh, change up your uh, entry handle uh, the keypad and get a fob uh, maybe get some better batteries some uh, 12 volt AGM deep cycle batteries 200 bucks a pop maybe get two of them and I have these already these Sterilite 40 gallon uh, wheeled industrial totes uh, they'd be perfect to put in the pass through a couple of those 
and uh, another security device by Winter International and more locks and of course you can upgrade if you want I already have a nice one but they have the upgraded version of the Vire portable compressor kit I am there in red make sure the dealer gives you all your various cranks and wrenches yes I heard some sad stories of people getting their picking up the trail train and they go where's all my cranks and wrenches now that I need them uh, yeah, yeah. So also you might need some heater bug screens, some um, dishware, cookware, utensils. You can get those from the house possibly. And you can buy an electric generator for 500 bucks or 5,000 bucks. It's your choice. Extension cables and you can upgrade those cheap Chinese tires, etc. etc. Get some fuses too. You might need some bedware, uh, some new sheets, uh, maybe get some fancy ones. Why not? And uh, you get it from the house or you can go shopping. And a small folding table. I already have one. Uh, it would be perfect, perfect for a travel trailer. And of course, when you connect to the cable at the uh, resort or at the uh, park, you need your own uh, coaxial cable. You need to bring your own so you can watch the boob tube, okay? A bubble level and of course some lap ceiling in case you scratch the roof. So that's my list. Uh, what did I forget? Did I forget anything? And apparently less to some is more. But some to others it's more is more <laughs> uh, this has been my list of travel trailer equipment and supplies my name is Jesus Manuel Menagarza I do travel photography and RV reviews hope you like this video don't forget to like subscribe and share I would greatly appreciate it thank you very much gracias adios bye bye